All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the February 2022. Wow. Uh, Zoning Board of Appeals meeting, Town of Carmel. Uh, the way we operate is we'll hear the case. I'll swear you in. Come up in front of us and uh, tell us what your situation is. We'll pull the board for questions or comments, and then we'll open it up to the public. Um, you can come up and uh, speak at, on any application. And uh, you know, we ask you to keep it brief, if possible, and to the point. And um, we'll close the hearing. Once we close the hearing, there's no further input from the public on, on any application, okay? Um, board members' names are in front of you on the dais. Uh, Mike Carnaz, a code enforcement officer, is with us, as well as town attorney Greg Fulchetti. Will you all please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, all. all right, thank you all. All right, the first application tonight is Joseph Haddon for a variation of section 156-15, seeking permission to legalize a shed. The property is located at 60 Everett Road, Carmel, New York, and known as tax map 55.7-1-18. Good evening. Good evening. Come on up, state your name and address for the record. Uh, and do me a favor, I failed to mention, please speak into the uh, microphone. Yeah, you can, you can, that mic comes off if you want to hold it in your hand or you can adjust it towards you. Uh, uh, name is Joseph Haddon, uh, 60 Everett Road in Carmel. Switch hands though, and raise your right hand. There you go. Swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the <laughs> truth, so help you God. I do. Thank you, sir. All right, uh, your situation is you have a shed that's been there for quite a while. Yes. Yeah, we yes. were out there yesterday, we met with you, John and I. Um, looks like you're, you're backed towards the woods so that you're not encumbering anybody and your neighbors on either side, nobody's got an issue? Uh, no, I have a neighbor on each side. All right, you want to submit that to the board? Just speak yeah. into the microphone, please, because this is being yes. recorded tonight for okay. uh, minutes. So the, uh, Thank you, Johnny wants to take a quick look. Yeah, you want me to read it? Sure. Yeah, if it's, if it's brief. Uh, this is very brief from uh, Mr. and Mrs. Casella and Mr. and Mrs. Kamalski, their neighbors of Mr. Uh, Hayden. Uh, with regard to the shed located on the property of 60 Everett Road, Carmel, New York, we have no objections to its location or aesthetics. Okay. So, that's, I'll put that that's a good shed. Right? Yeah, it's a good shed. Yeah, it's a good looking shed. And their address was uh, 62 and 58. 58. And yeah. 50. Okay, both neighbors on either side. Either side. Okay. That's great. Um, there's no other property you can purchase to bring it into conformance, right? And the shed's been there how long? Um, 2007. And you didn't to the mic, please. Yeah, speak to the mic. Uh, 2007. You didn't realize you needed a permit? I didn't think so. Yeah, that's usually what the story is coming in here. With, when uh, people sell it to you, they don't, they don't tell you. They're just making a quick deal. Um, all right, uh, board members, any questions? No, it looks, it looks fine over there. It's, yeah, I mean, it's I in know. good shape. It's, oh, it's yeah, complimentary yeah. to the to this Thank property. You. Thank you. It's, no a, it's in a good spot, well screened. Why is this coming up now? I don't know. Did you just get a letter from town? Yes. Okay, that's yes. fine. No questions, thank you. No questions. Yes. No questions? All right, any input from the public on this application? I'll look for a motion to close the public hearing. Motion to close. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Aye. sir. Thank, thank you. you guys. I'm gonna go grab it. <clears throat> All right. What? Um, yeah, if you guys want to stick around for the decision, again, there'll be no input from the public on any application at that point. Or you can go home and watch it on TV, channel 95 on, uh, what's 24 on Horizon? On 17 on uh, Comcast? Comcast. Okay. I don't have that chance. That. Or you can call the office tomorrow, too. Or you can call the office. All right, application number two is uh, New York City DEP for a variation of section 156-15, seeking permission to extend a temporary trailer variance, which expires 2022. The property is located at 1286 Route 6 Carmel, New York, and is, uh, New York, is known as tax map 54-1-29. Good evening. Good evening. State your name and address for the record, please. My name is James Kiesler. I live in uh, Pauling, New York. I'm representing uh, New York City DEP for 1286 Route 6 Carmel. Okay, raise your right hand. 
swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. All right, thanks. Um, so you guys are looking for an extension here, which is, I think we granted three extensions at this point. Just, yeah. Just uh, give us the reason why, why this needs to be extended and... Well, we currently have 17 staff uh, located at the trailers. We have been pursuing uh, construction of a new facility for quite some time. Uh, to be quite honest, the last time I was here requesting this, um, I really thought we'd be farther along at this point. And that's at that site, that location? No, it, uh, somewhere else, pr preferably within Carmel. A site has not been uh, picked yet. Um, and so uh, COVID uh, created severe delays uh, with everything down in the city. And um, the consultants we're working with and the people at uh, DCAS and OMB uh, down in the city, uh, everything slowed them down. Um, my understanding now is that they're in the middle of a uh, market survey uh, to see if there's something we can purchase. Um, if not, then we will probably pursue uh, construction. Okay. And there's no room at that site to, to do that, right? No. Yeah, it's, it's, it would be uh, falling within the watershed itself. Yes. It's built there, right? Yeah, okay. that's right on top. Um, I mean, I don't see a problem with extending this, especially since you guys need a little more time for research and, and design and development. Um, but that's my opinion. I just will pull the board members. Julie, you guys have any opinion or questions or concerns here? No questions. Um, just how long is this extension for? I think it's five years. It's a five-year extension? You can do whatever you feel comfortable with. What did you request? Do you know? Uh, I believe you requested another five years. Uh, okay. okay. So it's a five-year app? Okay. I just, for some reason, I didn't catch that. It's really Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, okay, that was the only question I had was helpful. No, no questions. questions concerns. <coughs> no questions. Thank you. We have a letter of a, a objection from a Peter Gephardt um, who talks about the Belden House. Yes. Um, yes. I believe he's here. We'll give him a chance to okay. talk if, if that oh, he's here? helps. Okay. Um, he's not here. Oh, he's, he's not here? Um, is there a reason why they didn't move it to the Belden House, or was it supposed to be at the Belden House at one point? The, no, this, there was uh, a movement based on that article um, to put offices in uh, the Belden House back in 2007. Um, we, did, we started uh, some design work. We actually had some architectural consultants come in and talk to us. Um, and they estimated a price of just the modifications needed to the building at three and a half million dollars, which was already over the two million dollars that we were thinking we were, need, we were gonna need. And then in uh, 2012, uh, the Bureau of Water Supply underwent a cost-cutting exercise, and um, the consultants who were leading that, one of their big driving uh, forces was getting rid of facilities that we no longer use. And unfortunately, one of them was the Belden House. So um, that funding was taken away, and that building was, was actually designated to be demolished. The building was designated to be demolished? Yes. Is that still the case? Yes. Do you know when it's scheduled to be demolished? Uh, right now, the money for that is in fiscal year 24 which starts um, July of 2023. My guess is that the work won't happen until spring of 2024. So this New York City owns that property now? Yes. It's the same lot? Yeah. Is it just one large lot? It's one large yes. lot, yes. Jeff and the Belden House and the rest of them. This side of, uh, what's the waterway over there? 301? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. basically our, pro yeah, our property line goes from uh, essentially Drewville Road to uh, Belden Road. So it would it be subdivided? No, no. It's no. their property. No, it's, one it's their piece property. property. It's one New York piece City plan. property.
Palmer, but within the county of Putnam, so that DEP could locate. My recollection was 80 or 90 of their employees and some of their and some of their equipment, um, and they were in the process of looking uh, at that point. And my understanding is it's still ongoing uh, in terms of an actual facility. You said 80 or 90 employees. I think that's the number that was bandied about. And that was June of 17. It was almost yeah, five yeah, years ago. That, that's it was a large the facility. correct range. Yeah. So that house wouldn't accommodate that anyway. That no. it, it, it was kind, kind of a centralization yeah. of their facilities in yeah. in the area. That was what was, and it wasn't specific proposal. It was an inquiry they were making about locating a suitable site or a suitable uh, structure that could yeah. be, uh, you know, retrofitted and renovated. So that, that did happen um, back then, and it's, uh, my understanding, is still ongoing in other parts of the county. So, I mean, sadly, it's a, it's a historical house, but it's, it's, it's this one issue is not having anything to do with the other. So it right. um, wouldn't be really in our wheelhouse or purview to uh, comment on that. Um, John, anything? No, we're just looking at the variance for these trailers. Right. I don't have any yeah. questions on that, uh, John. All right. Does anybody in the public have any input on this application? I'll look for a motion to close the hearing. Motion to close. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Our application number three, uh, Red Mills Realty LLC for a variation of section 156-41-C8, seeking permission to keep second freestanding sign. The property is located at 565 Route 6N, Mahopac Falls, New York, tax map 75.6-1-69. Good evening, Ms. Jell. How are you? Page 16, Chestnut Drive, Mayapac, New York. Raise your right hand. Uh, grab a mic too, Dawn, please. Grab a microphone so you can speak into it. It's being recorded tonight. Should I repeat it? Uh, did everyone hear? Who's you? I think yeah, we know. It, it, it's on the application. So uh, yeah. raise your right hand. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so we'll help you God. Yes, I do. Okay, explain your situation. Uh, two years ago, uh, Red Mills Realty, Red Mills Shopping, we put up a sign for um, COVID. I printed out, I don't know if you guys received yeah. this one, it's in the beginning for, um, to thank our first responders, the police, et cetera. And um, we left it up there and then come spring, we did another sign, keep spring going and we're all together as a community. We ended up leaving the sign up and now there's advertisement on that sign. Okay, yeah, this, that's what it is currently, right? This one? Yes. We have you covered at Red Mill Center. Um, I think there's only one letter of opposition, and where it is at this point, oh, it's probably this folder. I have it here, John. You got it? Edward C. McHugh. <laughs> yeah, this is from Edward C. McHugh. Dear Mr. Maxwell, I'm an 81 year old resident of Mohopak for the past 56 years, residing at 51 Red Mills Road. I strongly <laughs> object to any variance being granted to the above noted applicant. I'm unable to attend the meeting as I no longer drive at night. I'm respectfully requesting that all board members physically come to my home at night to observe the sign that I am objecting to. Please contact me, blah, 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 Mr. Edward C. U. Uh, McHugh. Um, on this note, John and I actually went out there last night and we walked his property. And honestly, we could not even see the sign from the back. He's got a big berm that, that builds up. I don't know if anyone else got a chance to get out there. Um, and I thought the sign was lit where it could be encumbering on him, and it's not lit. You, don't, you guys don't light it up at night. No. So, uh, I mean, you know, I, I'll put this in. It's in the record, but I don't think this has any bearing, in my opinion, on the situation. So um, that's to that. Um, Ms. Paid, it is, it, it is kind of a large sign compared to what what is allowed. Right. I mean, it's almost triple. Right the allowed um, size. Is there anything that can be done to minimize the size? I mean, it's a wood frame. Yes. You probably could take sections off. Absolutely. Right, to make it less um, sizable on, yes. on that lot. If that's something you're willing to do, I think the board, and I'm speaking for myself, but we'll pull everyone next, mm -hmm. would be happy to do something like that. Fine with that, yes. Okay, so with that, I'll, I'll open it to the board members. Mm -hmm. Take one away. 
Yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that looks like one. Mrs. Payne, yeah. it appears like it's timber, like, it, you know, it's a, uh, it's a timber uh, made in the back. Yes. And I don't know the exact, um, you know, distance between each section there. It looks like you have about four sections. But maybe if a section was to come off, it looks like, uh, like you see the shell yes. section. Mm -hmm. You know, something like that. That would bring it into a, a less square footage of Absolutely. the variance. Uh, you know, to have a variance for two signs would, would be good. Okay. This is also not in a, a, a footing, right? It's not permanent. No. It's sort of just in the ground. Exactly. Yeah, so it's, it's, I think it's easy to, to work. Okay, perfect. Know? Is there any plan to make this a more permanent sign, like a backlit, backlit sign? No. Because like, that's where I think off. it would be, you know, a, a burden to, to the neighbors. And yes. No, not at all. There. I mean, I, I, you know, I appreciate that this was a thank you to the community. And thank you. We'd like to keep it that way. Um, Is it your intention to change the sign up throughout uh, the season for different things? Uh, we did start out doing that. The one sign that's here now, it's been up for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I might, you know, come summer, just, you okay. know, happy summer, what, you know. Make it season, not, seasonal. Yeah. Maybe three times a year, if that. I did it more, you know, in the beginning with the right. COVID, just to try to right. keep morale up and support the community. So, John, if they took one of the panels off, how big would that be? That looks like it's a roughly yeah. about 64 square feet, but, you know, roughly. So let's say yeah. 60 feet. It's 6 by 38 is the total it's mass. Six, it's 6 feet by 38. And how many panels are there? Three? It's like four. four. It's four, four panels. Four? It looks like it's, it's four. four. So 38, 19. Nine and a half. I would actually go for two panels off as yeah, opposed I would to say one. I'm just, one I'm just trying to figure out what that yeah, is. Yeah, we're just trying to get a, yeah. something easy. Let's take nine four and a half. I'd like to split in half. By six. Okay. You want to see it, right? You want to see it. You can see it. Yeah. I saw the sign. I just want to make sure we have the numbers when we go. If you do decide right. to grant something, we have the right numbers on there. Yeah, yeah so uh, we can discuss that. You want to see the sign from the road. Well, we're discussing it now. So what? Yeah. We want to see it from a road, right? You got 228 yeah. square feet out there. Yeah, because it's in the back you of the property. You said that was, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, what, you said it was 10 by 40? It's 38 by, by 6. Right now right in the now. applications, it's, it's, what's provided is 228 square feet. Which is 38 by 6. So if you made that half, it would be 19 by 6. 114 square feet. Or we took a section, it would be about that's uh, two sections. Thirty. Two uh, sections. I know two you're sections. saying that, but like thirty by six. That's a lot. I'm okay with one section. Yeah, I'm okay really. with one section. I'm actually you concerned. Want to see it I'm, a, I'd I'm rather actually have two. very concerned about precedent. So I want to remind yeah. all of you that yeah. whatever yeah. we approve, yeah. we have yeah. to yeah. think yeah. about yeah. the future. And someone else will come and say, "Well, you gave this to Red Mills." I want to put a sign. So whatever we do decide, we need to be ready for this to come up again and again. I can respect again. that too, yes. but each, each property has its own Please merits, its own yeah. conditions. And, and we're going to condition this, this yes. that we'll, this will never light up. Right. right. And it's set back on the back of the property. This is not located in frontage, right. you know, like right. you see that coming, you know, so down like, six and you don't see it unless you're so pulling I mean, sort of in yeah. it's to the It's characteristic to this individual yeah, life. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a custom setup, and you want to see it. It looks like your patrons sit What there. do you guys think down here? So they want to see well, it. You, you've been hearing me. I, I want it at least half, I'm not one section. Julie, two. what are you thinking? I think half is good. I don't think that's an original half. Half. Or 14 square feet. You okay with that? Yeah, well, it's, yeah I'm, I'm for keeping, you know, with the... Um, and you definitely condition with with, with conditions yeah, you know right. as much as uh you know is reasonable you want to okay. see the sign right i can't right, you know, so people can't see mrs paid yes. if, if we went to half you, you'd be okay with yes. that with what we could do okay um bill you okay with that yeah i'm good okay thanks um and the only other thing you might want to add is that uh they maintain it because if you sell the place or you know somebody else owns it they know the variance is there at least you keep you they keep it great but yeah, if somebody else gets in there we can the keep on yeah top i'm of sure it. that would be a condition in, in a future sale if, if potential make sure that that's no we, the condition, or, we, we condition it as well that it's maintained yeah 
just makes it easier for us if we're enforcing a, right. it's a variance record, condition it's than covered. trying to go through the yeah. okay. property maintenance. All right. Any input from the public on this application? All right. I'll look for a motion to close the hearing. Motion to close. Do I have a second? second. All in favor? Aye. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. That would be 19 by 6, oh, which is know, half of the 228 one. We might be, should we have her? We'll change the. Uh, Dawn, let me just change the uh, original application on how you say Okay. It. Give it which one's the next on the train? Uh, so, what's that square footage? 19 by 6? 114. 114. Thank you for doing that for the community, Thank Dawn. You. Thank it's really you a great much. thing that you're doing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Um, next application is Lake Plaza Shopping Center Dollar Tree for a variation of Section 156-41C2, seeking permission to install one wall sign Dollar Tree. The property is located at 983 Route 6, Mahopac, New York, tax map 65.10-1-45. Good evening. State your name and address for the record. Uh, Nick Capatos, uh, 296 Sunnybrook Road in Glendora, New Jersey. All right, uh, swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. All right, uh, bring us through your application, please. Uh, the only thing I want to say is that our attorney was trying to call in tonight, the Dollar Tree attorney. Is there a mechanism for him to call in? He just texted me saying he's on the line, and I'm not quite sure what that means. Unfortunately, we don't have that technology, but I mean, okay, if I'm, you want to I'm, call him on your phone and... and okay, so, well, how about if I talk, say everything to the board, and then we'll see if we need the attorney. Um, so Dollar Tree is taking over the second half of the, I believe it was the old Kmart shopping center building on the right hand side. You have yes. job lot. They put a, 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 a wall down the middle to split the two pieces of property, job lot on the one side and then on the left hand side will be Dollar Tree. Uh, the property wasn't cut directly in half. It seems like it was cut um, 100 feet plus for the job lot and this side is about 80, this is 80 feet, 78 feet for the uh, Dollar Tree. So when we were reviewing how to design the application, um, we do realize that we're exceeding the, the, uh, the amount that's uh, permitted. But what we did is we took the uh, job lot sign, which is a four foot high letter, and we reduced the Dollar Tree sign to a three foot high letter, thinking that the logic was that this was proportional for this side of the building versus that side of the building. Obviously the sign's only going over top of where the door entrance is, um, where this area is gonna be all uh, dressed up so that it looks like a, you know, what the, what the drawing here um, depicts, the new look of the store, um, their colors, and, and that's pretty much it. The attorney sent over a, um, Dollar Tree's a large company, obviously they have attorneys, they have engineers, so they, they reviewed all this and, and obviously they, they try to maintain a certain look and a certain style for all their buildings, and they have a, you know, a, what they consider their consideration. They want everything to, to have a similar type of look. So that's what we're looking for, this uh, deviation, this variance request that increases the size. But I'm, I'm, the square footage is, uh, to me, it's more about the size of the letters and the proportion, but obviously you can see it is a square footage issue with your ordinance. Okay. Um, I understand that you know corporations have to keep their sizes as, as, and they'll ask for the majority as possible. And traditionally, this board that I've been on for almost 20 plus years, we've always negotiated down the size. And well, they want it bigger. <laughs> well, <So. laughs> I, I get that too. But we also have you know sort of internal design guidelines that sure. you know, we try to work to. Um, we. Uh, in my opinion is we, we try to make it commensurate with the size of the tenant so ocean state job lot we i know we approved at um sign of, uh 135 square feet right and they're they're bigger a bigger store. they're about 20 percent bigger right mm -hmm. so you guys are asking for uh 
129 here, which is almost around the same size as we and I, 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 I was, But I was looking at the size of the letters. We were looking at the, the distance from the road. The building does set about 550 feet back from Route 6. You've got those commercial buildings in front. Now, I don't know how visible it is in the summertime, in the springtime, things like that. But the logic, it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah. And, and that was some of the consideration. So your more important sign is the sign on the pylon, not the sign on the, the pylon. The sign on the pylon is very small. Do you, yeah. Do you, do you have a sign going out there as well? Yeah, I believe it's just one of the panels is just a piece of plastic. There's an existing sign. The There's a blank. Not lit, backlit? Uh, that's an existing oh. sign. I think the landlord Probably. is just putting the name. Yeah. Uh, Every store has its own size, even, uh, its own slot, even though it doesn't matter how big the store is, they all get the same size. Right. I think we're all in receipt of that letter from, uh, from you. Or from uh, no, it's attorney. from an engineering firm. I'm just the uh, sign installer. And, you know, there's always a battle back and forth, whether it's the sign that sells or, you know, if it's for the community, most people, once they know about it and hear about it, they know it's there. So, in my opinion, it's, you know, the attraction and the size of the sign shouldn't be that large where it's I agree I, I, I just, just want the board to consider like you said proportionality was really what we're looking for I think the difference between the Ocean State uh, job lot sign and Dollar Tree is Dollar Tree is only two, uh, you know two words Ocean State job lot is, is four words so it's really the layout and I know you're looking at square footage and yeah. I appreciate that um, I just want the board to once again consider that it is a smaller letter height even though we stack the letters as opposed to running them horizontal, but that's Dollar Tree's. Yeah, unfortunately, it's it's taken the square of the whole. Yes, yeah, that makes it out. difficult to you, you. Your ordinance does require putting a square around right. the. Um, yeah. And I, you know, I get it. You guys, you can't change your your fonts or your uh, no layout as well for your corporate brand. Do you um, believe I should get the attorneys on the line? Because I don't want to say anything that's out. You know, they they, uh, they Greg, represent the, the big dogs. Can we? I'm just a little dog. Hear someone through a, a device? Is that allowable? I mean, it's kind of a new I world here. We're no, we're setting up a Zoom. Honestly, I mean, we're able to do that. Oh, so. really? No, yeah, I mean, it so says they're on the call, which I, I don't know how they did. You know, once again, they, they just told me that through your office somehow they were able to do it. Maybe she did, and we just don't know. But I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm not aware of, of a Zoom that. setup. But <laughs> yeah, someone's going to get an invoice. <laughs> but I mean, if I'm you not get paying him on the, the phone, and he wants to speak. Keep the microphone. You know, do you want me to put him on? If he wants to be part of it, and Greg, you're okay with it, I'll, I'll defer to our town attorney. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Um, but do you want me to? Bef yeah, before you do that, yeah, let, I was saying, let, let me get to a number that I think. Yeah. What All right, tell me is, what you're thinking. Is reasonable, just again in proportion to what we've given before. Okay. You know, if we gave 135 square feet to Ocean State. You know, you're asking for 129. It's uh, six square feet less. So, like, if we came down, and this is my opinion, if we came down to like 110 or somewhere between 100 and 110 square feet, I think that would be fair. And 108 is 20 percent. I did. The, I was doing the matches before. So, if we said 100, 108, right, which is similar right. to the proportion of the yeah. size of the square foot. Correct. So, I mean, the only thing I'll say is, yeah, I think they can do that. Um, the, the way these letters are made, I'm, I'm a, a local installer. They're manufactured in a big plant. They ship them here from like Wisconsin. And so they use 36, 34, 32. So as long as it is sort of a nominal size, I mean, if you know, I can make it work. I do have, I'll be very honest with you, I do come prepared. I have a couple extra drawings that I brought with me that have different sizes in case the board did want to go in that direction. So well, then let's, see, let's see what you got. 89 square foot. So and we I'm have, assuming uh, the attorney is aware of that as well. Right? He is. He provided me with all this stuff. So he's, and I'm sure you're right. He's still going to bill even though I'm doing all the work. Uh, Let him sit. <laughs> this is recorded, isn't it? I'm going to get in trouble. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> it'll be on our website tomorrow, but that's okay. It'll, it'll be on the website it. tomorrow. So I believe one of the board members said 108. Yes. So I have 115 and I have 102. 102 sounds really good. So please, that'll get me in more trouble. So the reason, okay, so here's what it is. They, they manufacture a 36-inch high letter, a 34-inch high letter, a 32-inch high letter. These are, you know, these are, you know, are in a building that's 80 feet long. I'm a sign guy. And if you, you know, everyone wants their sign to be as big as possible. I, I agree, and I fight with people all the time. And that's why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> but one thing I like about this, uh, this building is you don't have a bunch of windows. There's not, another, uh, uh, there's not a bunch of uh, auxiliary signs or ancillary signs all over the property. I'm under the impression the board is not in favor of all those kind of additional signs. So this would be the only sign that the property would have other than the existing pylon sign, which is very small, 
for the size of this of this shopping center. Uh, you know. Do we yes, know? Sir. Do we know the um, the length of the J in that job lot? You know, what is what is that height? So you know, you know what, what I did? I drove is? up from Philadelphia earlier early today. So I went and measured the the job lot sign before I got here. So the the L is 48 inches. The J, because it has a curb, and, and it's usually considered a nominal site, probably comes down to about an extra three or four inches. So that letter- 52 inches. It could be something like that. But that's only because of you know the type of letters and the type of fonts. The other thing, if you look at the font, the font for job lot is a much thicker- Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thicker- yeah. It's, it's a large- uh, You're aware that there's trees font. along Route 6, that you're not gonna see this all- You know, the engineer summer, identified fall. that, and, and I agree, but one of the things that he points out in his letter, and I sort of agree with it, is it's also an aesthetic once you're in the parking lot, once you're there. And I agree that people start to get familiar with the property. Yeah. But one of these guys that they're always trying to do is they don't want stores, they want stores to be successful. And not that I believe a sign is the only thing that makes success, no, but quality. they want their look to be Product consistent. Quality, there's a lot of factors. Trust Absolutely. me, that store will be successful in that spot. Would it so. look funny if you had big letters and then small letters? I was actually going to comment on that as well. So uh, yeah. I was thinking like it's somewhere in between. The, would you say the 34? 34, 34 would be, I think, a, a compromise that I think I don't That's even have to call 15. the attorney. 115, you said, right? That's the yes, yes, yeah. and I can submit a, a drawing if you'd like to see that. I mean, yeah, I mean it what really doesn't. Is given? If you could sketch your. It's so nominal in the, in the, in yeah. the size. Yeah. Let me get you a picture like a of it. Comparison to Ocean State, which you're right next to. Yeah. Um, well, you want it to be consistent. Yeah, I mean, the Putnam Steakhouse was 74 square feet. That's obviously it's a 79 and a quarter. Yeah. That's well, that's another thing difference. which your ordinance. Yeah. Not to tell you how to write an ordinance, but we didn't write it. <laughs> we you know, write it. when the when the commissioners or, or or board members or whatever supervisors, obviously the difficulty in the sign business is when you come up with a proportion and you say you're allowed two square feet for every so many feet of feet of frontage, but then you limit it at 40. What you're really doing is forcing everybody to come in front of the board, which is not a bad idea to bring them in front of the board. The question is, does the board consider? that when you have an 80 foot long building, a 200 foot building, you know, those are where your issues are. If you go out to this property, and I, I did look at it today, um, some of the smaller properties, you know, they have, they're only 20 foot wide and they have 40 square feet. So you have 40, and if you have four stores in a row, you've got 40, 80, 120, 160 square feet in an area that is less than what this property is. It's inconsistent with, you know, it's over time. It's difficult. You know, it changes. If you're Route 6, gives you two different sizes. It's a nominal. It's, it's minimal. I'm, I'm with you. It's, it's not yeah, a great but, difference. You know, the lawyers would be mad at me. But it does make but a it's big still difference. It's our job to, to yeah. get the minimal. You're negotiating. I'm, I'm uh, with you. For, you know, that we're happy with. I won't give it to them. So, I, you know, I think the fact that it's a green inch. sign, too, is going to stand out amongst. Yeah, it's going to pop. Can I, do you mind if I, while the board talks, can I just text them if they're okay with 34 inch height? Is that what the board's yeah, opinion that's, is? That's yeah, that's fine. 34 inch letters. Lines. 34 inch Joel? letters. Which would be 115 square. Yes. Okay. With the, uh, looks like it's about a foot distance between each line. That's the standard. Dollar that's, and the standard uh, that's standard spacing. Yeah. 11 and a quarter. Do you need this back? I'm going to put it in, in the record for the secretary. Do you need the 34 inch back, sir? No, no, you guys can have it. Okay. And I, I'll submit new drawings. And John, you should also have him initial it if you could. You want me to grab it? You want to? Uh, no, I get it. I gave you both. Co did I give you both copies? No, I'm saying you want to wait here back from him. Yeah, I just texted him. This isn't going to be centered on this run, is it? So the landlord is uh, doing the construction, and I believe that uh, the oh. the drawings. I don't know if they've been submitted yet for the facade uh, improvements yet. Yes. They have, is the, I, I'm, asking, I'm sorry to ask you the question, do you know if the no, door is centered? It's centered here? I believe it's centered on the property. You know the door I don't know offhand, I'm sorry. I believe it's centered because Oceans is justified left. The, right. the job lot is justified left. If you walk into that store. That's true, because of the walls there, and then you, yes. go, you go. So I believe Dollar Tree will be centered on the property, but I, I, I didn't, I'm not. And then there's one more store to the left, correct? There is another store to the Okay, left. I just want to make sure that we're talking about the there, same There's space. going to be enough. Yes. Th there's other stores, but no, not there, in that wall. There's another store inside what was Kmart. Oh, they're actually cutting another, so it's even greater than that, that distance. Okay. It's coming, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, if they were doing it the way they've done all the other stores, it would be dead centered. Okay. So it's going to change. Yeah, it's going to be above the doors. 
Yeah, it's going to be centered to the doors. They're okay with 34. Okay. So I can't answer that question. I don't. Numbers here. It's not so my head. So you are asking originally for a 129.06 square foot sign. Mm -hmm. It's now going to be what? So uh, top left corner, I think it's 115. Does it say? I apologize for coming up here. That's okay. That's fine. He's got, you got 79 and a quarter. So we have to subtract. I'm glad you guys do the math. 115.16. 0.16. Yes. So you could have given variance of <laughs> less 40. <laughs> so plus 40. So 115.16, subtract 40 from that. Anybody have 75. 75. So that's the deviation, the variance is that amount? Yeah. 75.16? 75.16. Is that what you said? No, it's 115.16. Yeah, so I'm only losing uh, 40. I'm only losing 14 uh, square feet there. 14. So 75. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah 75. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> I didn't say anything. No, I know. Can we have mics? All right, and uh, just sign initial this that. Was the attorney okay with that? Yes. Okay, good. All right, any questions further for, or comments from the board? Discussions. We're okay. Any input from the public yeah, on this application? Question. Did you have a question? I just said the board oh. over here. Okay. Um, no input from the public. Uh, I'll look for a motion to close the hearing on so this move. application. Motion to close. Oh, oh, second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye, Should I wait till the end when you guys adjudicate, or you is can. It? if you want to, you're here overnight? Or <laughs> no, no, I'm driving back to Philly right now. Whoa! So, all right, Philly. Can't say we'll be quick, but it's only three it. hours. It's only three hours. Oh, yeah. Get a run into the, the wet. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get away from the wet. I'm be close. We're not getting slow with uh, snow down in our. No, you're gonna be fine. Yeah, once I get below trend. Yeah. So we're not even getting ice. We're gonna get ice. They're gonna get ice in the city, so you better get going. Thank you all very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Good luck. Next. Suez. Okay. Suez. Water. Uh, application number five. Suez Water, New York Incorporated. Geimer Wells 1 and 2. For variation of section 156-15, seeking permission to upgrade the existing Geimer Wells 1 and 2 site. The property is located at 70 Geimer Drive, Mahopak, New York, and its tax map. 75.13-1-6. Um, Good evening. I'm going to recuse myself. Okay. Uh, I'm John Kirkpatrick. I'm an attorney and city planner in White Plains. I'm here tonight representing Suez Water. Uh, we're here because uh, we need necessary area variances to allow addition of required water quality treatment facilities. I'm going to give you a little quick background. There are several small water systems throughout the town that used to be uh, the, the property of a company called Forest Park Water. Mm -hmm. uh, they apparently were all built in conjunction with residential subdivisions. They're various sizes. Um, a few years ago, the State Health Department lost confidence in Forest Park and ordered Suez Water, which is a large operator in New York State, to take over the systems, which they've done, and they've been operating them ever since. More recently, the State Health Department has become concerned about the presence in some water systems of a chemical called PFAS. So they have ordered many water systems, including Suez, to install. I, I'm sorry, I want to pause for a quick second. Are you an attorney? I'm an attorney, okay. yes. Because uh, I didn't swear you in, but if you guys are going to speak, I'll have to swear you in separately. You're okay. Sorry. Yeah. Continue. Sorry. I went over that too quickly in the beginning. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, in any case, um, what I wanted to say is that these sites are all inherited. Um, That's the way they exist when uh, Suez took them over. Some of them are uh, unusual shapes, unusual sizes, or have a lot of wetlands, which is going to be the case of the first one we're talking to you about tonight. Uh, and what they're looking to add uh, is a carbon filtration system 
very similar to the uh, a Brita water filter that you might have in your home. They're just a heck of a lot bigger. Uh, and they need a building to enclose them. Locations are a little tough to come by. We're dealing with sites that are existing in size and they don't meet the area size. And in some cases, we're going to need setback variances. But I'd like it to uh, introduce Ramya Ramanathan from the engineers. Uh, and we also have Steve Garabed. Guys, who, there's another microphone on that side that you can just this handle <laughs> and keep with you if you want to speak. Um, one more time, state your name and address for the record. Ramya Ramanathan, planning analyst with Adzil Nasher Ziegler, New where, City, New York. Where's your right hand? Where to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth is what we got. I do. Okay. Go ahead. Should I take on, John? Keep going. Okay. So, um, like John introduced, we're here representing Suez, New York. Um, for the first site, that's uh, Geimer Wells. Um, we basically need two variances, both of which pre-existing. Um, one being the lot size and one being the lot width. Um, if you see, required is about 200 feet and we are at 179.8 feet. Um, there are no impacts. I think John can touch on that a little more to the community. The use is going to be the same. Um, it's just something that they have to do because of state mandate. They have to put a new PFAS building in the structure, in, in the site. And it's, it's a large site. There's going to be no visual impacts whatsoever. Yeah, we, we were out there yesterday, and there's an actual gravel road that leads into it. It's surrounded by trees on either Correct. side. The nearest house, I think, on that bottom lot line is probably about 60 to 100 feet away, if not yep. more. And there's a ton of trees in between. Yes. We did see the trees that are X that are for removal. Uh, you know, it's not, I know it's not our issue, but how are you guys dealing with the DEC with this being in, in the wetlands? Do you have so, a special um, construction? <laughs> Yes, so we do have DC and ACOE wetlands on most of the sites, and there are permitting processes that are going on with that. Okay. So there's another company who's dealing with acquiring the permits, and we, we also went to the ECB of your town to get okay, permits from the ECB. Yeah, when they built these, the lot area that was required at the time would have been either a half acre, three quarter right. acre, or an acre. Right. And it would have met the requirements then in their infinite wisdom when they went to three acre zoning, these lots couldn't grow. You know, they're, right. they're the code requires that you meet the requirements for the code today, but the lot's are already there. So it's kind of a, a catch-22 yeah. for anybody trying to do anything on these lots. I'm can't do much. And, and we get it that it's a, it's a requirement. Yeah. This is a regulatory mandate regulatory. for the, is it GAC? Is it granular activated carbon? Yes, it is, yes. Okay, in terms of uh, the treatment of the... So there's uh, a need here for the greater good of the community. And the water. And so it, it's a big Brita filter. Okay, so, uh, you know, I don't, uh, obviously no one's here, I don't think, to, to speak against this, otherwise we, we would have uh, had them up here. So at this point, I'll, I'll ask the board members, John, any comments or questions? Yeah, just a couple of comments on the, um, the actual architectural build of the building. There was an, a letter. I don't have it in front of me from a neighbor. That's, that's actually for the next, yeah, that's the next one. one. But it, it's for it's the, the same one. reason. It's you the same ask thing. That question? And uh, the neighbor raises uh, the, the question, like, of the height of this building. It's 22 feet high. I understand you're putting in charcoal filters, and it's a system. And uh, that's it looks like a standard, like a Butler-style, you know, building prefab. Right, John, we'll refer to the engineer. Uh, I guess so, who's next. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, is that is there any, um, you know, ways to, you know, mitigate that, maybe make it lower, or that's necessary 22 feet high just state your name and address please Stephen Garibed I'm manager of engineering with Suez water uh, 162 Old Mill Road in uh, Nanuet New York right. raise your right hand swear to tell the truth the whole truth nothing but the truth so we hope you got it yes I thank you the height of the building is dictated by the height of the treatment equipment right uh, in fact we have very small equipment at most of these sites sorry um, I don't want to confuse the issue, but we have five No, just kind of speak up because it's, it's being recorded. And Do we hear that? Is that on? Is that on? There's a total of five sites that you will see over the course of the next month or so. These are the first two. These are small carbon systems. They're six feet in diameter, dual vessel systems. So these are small. Um, the height is needed for the equipment. 
plus the piping on top of it, plus then there's air release valves, and we need room to get up there and be able to maintain the facilities. And that's what's driving the height of the buildings. That's if they fine. could build a smaller building, they would, because it would save them money. Yeah. yeah they, they're small. not building them that size because it's a vertical uh, build, though. It's going e up. Like exactly. So it's not, is everything can't like spread it out. in site, or is it all union fittings? And Yes. They're they're prefabricated yes. structures, so, so you, they you basically need room put to up turn a wrench to install this equipment as well. I'm getting that. Yeah. So if your your equipment is at 20 or 18 feet, you probably need another three four feet for a body to get up there and actually fasten. And so, yes. You know, on the uh, not on the Geimer site so much, but the other site site off of Stokem. There's a great elevation drop there off the road. John, why don't we table that for the take next oh, application? Okay. So we'll okay. keep the two applications separate. We'll keep it separate then. So we'll, we'll, we'll discuss we'll that save it for later. That but point. along the same lines on the uh, construction and the look, and not so much at the Geimer, but even at that one, is there, you, you do have a, a rendition here. Like there's, it looks like there's evergreens that are planted around the, this uh, structure, right? So on your plans. So, Geimer, uh, we've requested for a landscape waiver, and, and the planning boards agreed to give us one just because it's so far into the site and it's already so densely vegetated. Um, but yes, existing trees, for the most part, are evergreen, just by. We're not proposing anything new, but on site, majority are evergreen trees. Yeah. Um, yeah. The filtration. Actually, so just, I'm sorry, for clarity, Geimer, you're, you're asking for the landscaping? Yes. No. Okay. Yes. We actually have a rendering for Geimer and that shows the building from the road. He's got it right there. And you, all you can see is the very corner of the building. Yeah, and the building color is green. No, there's a... That's there's London Bridge. Yeah, that's London Bridge. The Geimer Road, you can't even see, but maybe I two feet of the building. Correct. Yeah. And, and the, situ the way it's situated, they gave us the, the photograph down the driveway. It's almost invisible, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. That's why they didn't ask for a landscape around that. But John, the other one's coming. This, this we asked driveway, for driveway, you didn't even see it as you're coming in because the driveway right. was kind of right. yeah. Another question, uh, if I may, is does the charcoal uh, filtering system, does that make noise when it's filtering? No. No. The, so what makes noise is, are the well pumps, right? The well pumps are submersible. They're down in the wells, yeah. a couple hundred feet below grade. That's what moves the water through the treatment system and so, out into the system. So you're you're drilling new wells. I'm sorry? You're drilling new wells. No. Nope. No. Existing wells. You, All we are doing is adding treatment. There will be a new treatment building okay. with the new so treatment equipment. The driveway comes in and it goes that way to the old pump house, right? Almost like a... Angle. So, where are the wells now? At that old pump house? When you down to the left. Yeah. Correct. Right. Right. Correct. Correct. <laughs> um, so you're going to the existing uh, so wells. So we are going to bring the water from those wells to the new building location. Okay, that's what I was asking. And so there's then not the existing piping coming there. You have to run all new pipe underground to the new system. Correct. For treatment. Correct. Another thing okay. we're doing is bringing the, the current pipe from the wells actually runs through the wetlands uh -huh. and the floodplain. We are eliminating that with this design, going out our driveway and tying So you're going to abandon that and run a whole new... Correct. Okay. And all in the ground? Underground. I mean, yeah. Yes. Okay. Along, along those lines, I'm just getting a feel here. The pumps uh, and the charcoal filters need to be maintained daily 24 7 is there a lot of traffic there you got to remove the charcoal filters or how does it work so there'll be pre filters in front of the charcoal filters right pre filters we call them bag filters they are yeah in my head are all these industry terms that aren't going to be right. we call them socks they're, they're, they're they they were they're about 30 inches tall maybe six inches in diameter, and they fit, fit in a filter vessel, and they're easily cleaned out. That is what we'll have to maintain more periodically, maybe every three months. You know, right, you so it's not a daily operation. There no, the, the filters, they're, they're just going to run, and you know, we monitor them and check to make sure that they're functioning correctly. You guys have leak detection systems? And well, they have a SCADA yeah. system we have a that's going to go system. back Correct. to a head end, which mm -hmm. is where? Like you're in monitoring that, that from which is which is down in uh, Rockland County. Yeah. Okay. So it goes by wire down there. 
Cell. 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 Okay. We're getting too technical, John. No, I was, I was getting to but see periodically, about traffic going in and out or if something needs to be There will not be an increase in no traffic. Noise. And is there lighting out, out there? there? There will be lighting above each of the doorways. There will be a downward facing light. That's just so a technician can see where he's going again. Yeah, Correct. The planning, the planning board was on that. Everything has to be downlit. Nothing coming off the Nothing site. Coming out. And we've talked about this. The, the, the Department of Health wants us to light it up like Yankee Stadium. I'm going to tell you that that's what they want for security reasons, oh, and yeah. it's something that we've pushed back on. And we're, all we're proposing is the downward facing well, lights because van vandalism and curiosity seekers and whatnot too. So, right. and uh, just uh, one other question is: they've detected PFAS in the water there. Yes, above so. Yeah, like. Uh, Parts per trillion, right? Very That's high. correct. Yeah. Everywhere else lets a certain uh, amount of it, but New York State is more strict, I believe. It. EPA is 70 parts per trillion. 70 parts per trillion now. A year and a half ago, New York was using 10. Right. And they required everybody to go out and sample all of your sources. And mm -hmm. if you were above 10, then you had to come up with a plan to implement treatment. Correct. And that's where we are. We are. In and including the town. We're doing it in our districts as well. And we, need, and we need to do this by August 24th of this year. Wow. That is our mandate. So, so in we've in been in pushing. the time, let's just stick to the, the variances that's under our. Yep. I'd just like to, sorry, no I'd just like to correct myself. Most trees on site are deciduous, not evergreen. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it again? Uh, most trees on site are deciduous, they're not evergreen. I thought they're all evergreen, but they're all deciduous. They're I was not gonna evergreen. Say they are evergreen. Yeah, yeah. sorry, my bad. They're yeah. not. They're not. No, but they're getting so far back. Rose, yeah. any, any I just had a questions? quick question on London Bridge. Um, All right, well, that's a separate no, 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 application. All right, we're going to wait and okay. wait for that Guys, one. any other questions no, on that? No, no questions. All right, is there any input from the public on this application? Joel, you better say no. Um, I'll look for a motion to close the hearing on this application. So moved. Second. We'll second by Rose. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Next. Application sworn, so. number six, Suez Water, New York, Incorporated, London Bridge Wells 1 and 2, for variation of section 156-15, seeking permission to upgrade the existing London Bridge Wells 1 and 2 site. The property is located at 39 Brook Street, Mahopac, New York, tax map 64.7-1-10. All right. And I'm John Kirkpatrick, attorney. Okay. Uh, this is a very tight site for those of you who've been out to, to see it. It's right off the road. Uh, in this case, we will be adding landscaping, uh, yes. but I want to ask Ramya to go through uh, exactly what's proposed on the site. Okay, I've already sworn you guys in, so feel, feel free to go at it. Yes, so at this site, the two variances we're seeking is the lot area, which is pre-existing, but the one that's, um, the other one is going to be the front yard, which is required is 40 feet, but we're proposing 33. We would have been happy to push it back another seven feet and not be here for that, but we have wetlands on site, so we're trying to stay away okay. and not disturb it as much as possible. So we have a constraint, which is why we're having to keep it closer to Brook Avenue. Okay, and then the distance from there's only one house in close proximity on the right about hand 90 side, feet away yeah which i think is the north side so what uh and it doesn't affect them anyway right so you're within the, the footprint there yes um but is that the side where i don't remember seeing a landscaping drawing we i, I can pull that up just yeah if you could so is there is there a significant screening on that side as well as the front Ah, now we can hear. So um, on the plan set, we zoomed into the, the entrance area because that's basically the concern coming off of Brook Avenue. And if you see all along the road, we're proposing evergreens um, on either sides. And we're also trying to screen the existing pump house. So it's more screening than what's there on the site right now. Okay. So we're and trying to do. And it's evergreens. So yes, all of them. Right. Well, everything we're proposing are evergreens. So yes. what, what height? Well, what maturity and height trees are you proposing? So we're going with six to eight feet planted height, and then I believe these trees could go up to 40 feet, 30 feet. What, what was the name of that uh, evergreen? Um, we're going with the uh, green giants, eastern red cedars, and I can see, and junipers. Yeah? 
sorry, hollies. Shrubs for the existing pampas because it's a shorter building. Okay. And then the trees for the pifas. And th those are evergreens as well, the hollies? Yes. Hollies, yeah. yes. hollies yeah. are evergreens. Um, I have some. Yeah, that makes me happier. I don't recall seeing that. Was that part of the plan? I'm sorry? Was, was that, was that in our package? Middle? It should have been. It's a part of the site plan set. Okay. Maybe that looked close enough. But okay, that, that makes me happier. Um, we did receive one letter on this one. Yeah. If anyone has it quicker than I, I do. Got, it's from Garrett Croft. I'm just going to. Um, he's looking through, he, you know, un understands about the water requirements. His concern is with the height of the building. The area homes are mainly built in the 60s. The homes will be relatively small in this day and age. The proposed new building is 32 by 22 by 22. A 22 high uh, foot commercial building in this residential neighborhood seems excessive. Would ask the board to request the engineer to see if the building height could be reduced. Um, so we've already, I think, covered that, and I think we. Well, I, I think you should, for the record, on this application, just briefly just, just discuss. Oh, sure. Again. But before it's you, a, I'll just read the rest of it. Then yeah, you, then you sure. Okay. And then, yes. also observe the engineer has shown substantial evergreen type plantings, which you just discussed, as shown in the renderings to help screen the site. This is good. Please ensure the screening measures are included in the final plan slash documents. Uh, Which it is, and that's yep. the record that's in front of us. And, yep. I, and it's, now you that. It's, yeah, and it's the same building uh, same that building, we just yeah. discussed on the Geimer. Same size building, okay. same folders, everything. And, and the same exactly. maintenance prefab. issues, that's why you need the height and, the, and everything else. Yep. Just for the record. It's prefab or it's I built in place? Prefab. Okay. There's no way they can get it wrong because it's built in place. It just comes in sections. Yeah. Oh. I, I, would, I would like to make a comment, uh, you know, John, on the evergreens. You know, six to eight feet is very small. It's a 22-foot high building, okay? You're going to see that building for a long time. I, I, believe the, I believe the planting should be higher, more mature uh, evergreens that you put there. I agree. We, that came up at the planning board meeting. and Right. Yeah. So the, the problem yeah. with planting taller trees is they actually, they may not last. Right? There's a, there's a shock to the plants when you transplant them. It depends on the, right, the, root, yeah. the size of the root ball and the type of soil that's there as well. But typically, a, a, a shorter tree will do better and will actually start growing faster than if you plant a taller tree. So you think you're going to get more out of the taller tree, but actually the shorter tree should start growing faster I'm not and more arborist, naturally. You know, to, uh, you know, you know, but to speak to your point, you know, if it's a mature, well-grown tree from a nursery <laughs> and you, you put, uh, you know, maybe they're giant arborvitaes, I believe you said, or if they're Norway spruces, they're guaranteed. They're going to be planted by a professional and they, they should, they're going to take and they're going to provide an instant screening at that space and it looks like it's right on top of each other. So that's, that's what you want, more of that. You know, I'm just uh, making a comment. I'm proposing a, a 12 to 14 foot high tree, okay? That's, that's what I'm, I'm looking to do. So it's, it starts to go. Right. Yeah. Right. Just, to, just to screen it from uh, the neighbors. John, it, the fact is that they're going to do screening, so we'll let the planning board oh, handle that. Yeah, okay, so if the planning board it, has it, it um, has it. I, just one question. And you said it on the last application, the siding is going to be a green, like, kind of blend in with a full summertime look, right? That yes. color green. Is yeah. it? We do have a rendering if you want to see it. I, it's 11 by 17 and a half, yeah, we, if that helps. Them. I just, oh. Yeah, trying to establish just for the Sounds record. Yeah. So yes, it's, sure. You know, on the record. It's a um, natural siding one. All right, so that's good. Yeah, that was so a color picked out by the, the they difference. recommended it, but the planning board accepted that color. Okay. okay. It's good to know. All right. And I think you guys have addressed the concerns on that gentleman's letter. Um, you guys down here? Any questions? Nope. No questions. No questions. Rose, nothing? No questions. All right. Answer them. Any input from the public on this application? Julie, you better say no. no. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. I'll look for a motion to close the hearing on this application. So moved. Second. Right, second by Julie. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Good luck. Have a good evening. Thank you. See you too. All right, Joel. Uh, all right, number seven, last but not least, uh, Frank Famosa, variation of section 156-15, seeking permission to retain a pool and deck. The property is located at 11 Russ Road, Mohopak, New York, tax map 65.15-1-5.
55. Um, side yard, 15 feet. What's provided is seven feet, and a variance of eight feet is required. And Mr. Greenberg, state your name and address for the record. Speak clearly into the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> that, that Vinny's a real jokester back there. <laughs> Uh, Joel Greenberg, 2 Muscle Road North, Mahopak, New York. Swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. Even though I'm small, yes. Yes, thank you. Okay, uh, again, uh, as the chairman said, the side guard requirement is 15. We have seven, so we need an eight-foot variance. We, what I did was, and I'll hand this out to the board, uh, there's one neighbor that is immediately opposite where the pool is, so I have a letter from them saying we are the neighbors directly adjacent to the pool and deck, and we do not object to the granting of the necessary variances to retain the pool in the deck and give this okay. to the record. That helps because we were looking at it last night and there is a good tree line even though they're not evergreens that uh, I think would screen this well enough. Um, yeah, and as, as I just mentioned, the neighbor's house, I don't know if you can see it, but it's way back in the woods here. But as you said, there's quite a bit of growth here, trees and there's a couple of evergreens. So uh, this normally would be 10 feet, but not because the deck's attached to it, it makes it 15 feet. Mike, this normally would be 10 feet, right, for just the pool, but the deck is attached to That's it. That's correct. So yeah, that, that makes it, yeah. So it must be over a half acre? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's yes. Why. Yes, it If it was a half acre, it's still 10, so. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't make any difference. Um, all right, so there's no property that can buy to bring it into conformance? Correct. Uh, they can't relocate it. It would be costly to do so. Um, just give me a ballpark. If you had to do that, it would be a few thousand dollars, I'm sure. Uh, probably about four to five okay. thousand. Yeah. They didn't realize they needed a, a permit well, the, or, or uh, the, a variance? That's correct. These people moved here from, excuse the expression, Brooklyn. and uh, But this was put in many, many years ago. This has been here for probably 25 years. Okay. Easier to ask for forgiveness. Um, well, I members. think the important thing is that the neighbor has been there for also for quite some time. And and they've probably been in the pool, too. What's that? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> probably been in the pool, too. <laughs> Didn't think of that, but that's, that's, that's a good, right, John, good comment. Any, any questions, comments? No further questions. Why is it coming up now, Joel? Actually, you have to give the, uh, you have to give the owner credit because <coughs> when he called me, I, I said the same thing. Why? He said, you know, so, you know and I'll tell you the truth. Uh, you know, he's uh, moving on in years, and he wanted to make sure if, if something happened to him, that his wife didn't have any problems with the town, and that's exactly why he's doing it. Okay. So I think it's commendable. And where is his septic? Ah, that's a very good question. Underneath the pool. No. <laughs> Under the pool. Where else? <laughs> no, actually, the septic's in the front here. Okay. Front and the, the well is behind the pool, and the septic's in the front. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. Yep. No questions. Thank you, Joel. Yep. No questions. Nope. Nope. All right. Obviously, no input from the public, but I'll ask the question. Okay. Um, I'll look for a motion to close the hearing. Motion to close. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Thanks, Joel. Have a good night. This is my second zoning board meeting tonight, so if you could oh. mind, I can go home. What's that? No, no, I just came from Yorktown. Oh, wow. oh, wow. Oh, we're sloppy seconds tonight, Joel. Well, they start at 6.30. All right. Um, We're still talking. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> minute, minutes from January. I thought we vote on the cases first, first before you do that. No? Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> like I'm, just, I'm just going in order. Check it up if you I want, could huh? still do that if you I can. want. Yes, you can. You're the chair. You can do whatever you want. I'll look for a motion for accepting the minutes of January. Motion to accept the minutes of January 27th. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Yes. Yes. We have Thank you. Back to the agenda. Um, I'll look for a motion on number one, Haddon. Motion to grant. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Granted. Uh, motion for number two, New York City DEP on the, which property is that? Red Mills. No, it's no, 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 no. 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 Sorry, it's New York 1286 City. 1286 Route 6. I was trying to think of the road. Geimer. <laughs> no, no, no. This no. is New York no, no. City this is New York DEP. City. Oh, so I, I am, I'm getting this is the trailers. Oh. Yeah, I am. The trailer. All right, I'll look for a motion. Motion, motion to ex I'm sorry, go ahead, fellas. Motion to extend it. for five years. Ah, I was supposed to say second. All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, granted. 
Pardon my uh, ignorance there. Um, number three, this Red Mills Realty. So Look for a motion. Motion to grant for a 98-foot variance okay. as, as stipulated by the applicant. And? Okay. And no, no lights? No lights. No. There you go. And to 98 maintain, square feet. Right? And, and, to, and, and to maintain. maintain. And to maintain. And to maintain. The sign in, in how oh, you, you want to do that again? Just from the I thought they were so cutting it in half. They are. They're cutting it in half. Well, half of 228 is 114. 114. No, that's the variance no, required. No, 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 no. That's the variance. Got it. Right? Provided what you accused them of before. <laughs> well, everybody's I, is my math track. good? Because I. 114 <laughs> minus 32. I got to start again. The variance is cut in half, 82. isn't it? 82. 82? Yeah. Okay, so 82. I thought it was 98. No, you're good. I just want to make sure we got it. You got a minus 32 out of it. This 82. Way. It's an 82 square foot. 82. 14 less 32 is. 14 yeah, less 32. 114 minus 32. Yeah, he got it. That's why I didn't go to that school. To to <laughs> All right, you want to re restate that? I still do my taxes. <laughs> no. so that? Just, All right, so again, motion to grant. <laughs> Variance required of 82 square feet, no lighting, and um, sign, must be, sign must be maintained. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Uh, number four, Lake Plaza Shopping Center, Dollar Tree. Motion, motion to grant is amended. And that was down from? It's 115.1. That's why I was trying to cheat. Just. 75.6. To 75.6, as amended to 75.16 is uh, for the variance. Correct. Okay, do I have a second on that motion? Second. Uh, any discussion? All no. in favor? Aye. 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 Granted. All right, number five, Suez Water Geimer, Wells 1 and 2. Do I have a motion? I'm recusing. Motion to grant. Second. Seconded by Bill. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Granted. Number six, Suez Water New York, London Bridge, Wells 1 and 2. I'm recusing. I look for a motion. Motion, motion to grant. grant. Sorry, good. By Rose, seconded by Silvio and Bill. Bill, Bill said it. All right, Bill. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, that's granted. And finally, number seven, Frank from, from Musa. From Motion to grant. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And that's granted. Aye. All right, I look for a motion to close the hearing tonight. So moved. Second. Uh, second by Julie. All, all in second. favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, guys. Have a good night. I got to go walk my dog.